81 weeks ago, someone named Jalen Warren left a whiny comment on episode 12 of this show telling me, if you're going to talk about powers, know your facts on the ability. Is this the longest it's ever taken a YouTuber to come back to a bitchy comment? I think it might be. This week, in the very first Advanced Superpower episode, we're looking at a power which got kind of short changed last time we looked at it. I made a lot of jokes about this power being largely useless up until the point that it actually makes you die, but that was very unfair to this ability. And that was something that Jalen Warren had no problem pointing out to me like a massive prick. Yeah, I can hold a grudge like 10 motherfuckers. Anyway, this week we're going deeper with the power of advanced force fields. Contrary to what I suggested way back in episode 12 of this show, which you can watch here incidentally, the ability to generate force fields is actually a pretty versatile one. Sure, you can create a bubble of pure force around yourself which will stop any projectiles or physical attacks from coming through. <laughs> <laughs> but you can do so much more once you become more proficient. For example, you can start to use force fields to basically replicate telekinesis by creating a small force field around an object and then moving that force field where you want it to go. Uh, um, in my defence, it has been a while since I used telekinesis. I may have forgotten how to use it. And you people are trusting me to teach you advanced superheroics? You can also push your force fields outwards to create incredibly powerful blast waves of pure force. <sighs> oh, balls. I've been through so many cameras over the course of this show. And if you're a particularly sick f then you can create a very small force field inside another living being and then expand it outwards until they explode like a condom full of jelly. And now you guys all know why I don't have a cat. Do any of you know a quicker way of removing bloodstains than burning your entire house down and then buying a new one? If so, please contact me immediately. In less disgusting uses, you can use force fields to create small pockets of air where there would otherwise be no air, like underwater. Or even in outer space. However, even advanced force fields come with the same drawbacks as the basic version, and then some. For example, it's possible that there might be a maximum size your force fields can be, so while you could make it incredibly big, it would also be incredibly thin. And the thinner a force field is, the easier it is to break through it. Um... I surrender. It's cool, you get shot as much as I do and you kind of get used to it. Also, if you lose concentration for even a second, you'll probably lose control of your force field and let all the bad stuff in. Ooh, shiny. Okay, getting shot twice in less than 30 seconds is a bit much, even for me. And of course, there is the recurring risk of asphyxiation with this power, which seems like a pretty big drawback. Not again! That's another one for the next death montage. So, I hope you enjoyed your first taste of advanced superheroics. Leave a comment in the section below telling me what you would do with the advanced form of force fields, and your comment could be featured in the next Alter Ego video blog. And until next time, stay super! Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to see more, you can click over there for the last episode of So You're a Superhero, or the most recent Alter Ego video blog. You can also click down there to subscribe to my channel, like and favourite the video, if you enjoyed it, and of course, stay super.